Action J. Jackson, entrepreneur, radio show host, and the author of the new book, Cubicle to CEO, The Blueprint for Starting Your Own Business. Family, every day I meet individuals who are on a job that they do not like. They're in careers that they feel is taking them nowhere. And yet they have all of these visions for starting their own business and pursuing their dreams, yet they won't do anything about it. For many, they just don't know where to turn or how to go about doing it, and all too often fear causes us to pause on pursuing our dreams. So I felt I, should, I wanted to write a book, I wanted to provide someone with a resource that could educate, that could motivate, that could inspire, and that could empower them to pursue their dreams. And that was the whole premise behind this book here. And so one of the things I wanted to start doing was putting together some videos, putting together some information that a person can take in in small bites that could really educate them and empower them to pursue their dreams. So this is the start of the series here. I like to call it the words of action from Action J. Jackson. And so today we're going to start off with the first step in starting your own business because see it is not a simple task. It is not easy to step out and pursue your dreams. And so I want to share with you some tips today. The first lesson for today I want to share with you is assessing your strengths, assessing your talents. What is it that you are good at? What is it that comes natural to you? What is it that comes at ease? What is it that people come asking you to help them with all the time? What is it that you do for free? How can we turn these strengths into a business opportunity? And in knowing those strengths, we also need to know our weaknesses. What is it that I'm not good at? You see, all too often, people want to focus on being well-rounded. I want to be well-rounded. I want to know my strengths, but I also want to know my weaknesses because I want to build on my weaknesses. But I, I want to offer you something a little different. I want to offer you a different theory. I want to say we need to know our weaknesses because we need to focus on what we're good at and not worry about what we're weak at. We want to bring people in. We want to get assistance in the areas that we are weak in and focus on what we're good at. When you look at individuals like Michael Jordan, and I'll use him for example, Michael Jordan on the, on the basketball court, he was gifted. He was a genius on the basketball court. But then when he took those talents and put them to baseball, he was mediocre at best. Because see, his area of greatness, his area in which he was gifted in was basketball. So we need to focus on the things that we are great at, the things that we, are, that we just do with ease. And so that's where we want to start at is finding out what is it that I'm good at. And I'll tell you, sometimes it's not easy because many times we undervalue our own talent. We undervalue the things that come natural to us. We feel like it's common. Everybody has these talents. But sometimes you don't realize that these things are special and unique to you. And you could utilize those talents to pursue your passion. So that's the first step I want to share with you today is finding out and assessing what your strengths are. Many times what you have to do is, sometimes you have to go to family members, think people that are close to you that can really share with you what it is they feel that you are good at. And that's the first step into pursuing your passion and going from cubicle to CEO. So that's our lesson for today. I want to leave you with this word of wisdom here. The greatest threat to our dreams are not obstacles. And the greatest threat to our dreams are not hurdles. But the greatest threat to our dreams is simply having a clearer path to a much lesser dream. So I want to leave that with you today. If you're interested in checking out the book, I want to invite you to www.thewordsofaction.com. Once again, that's www.thewordsofaction.com. I invite you to go to my website. We're going to make sure it's on the screen. And look forward to our next video. I also invite you to leave some comments, some interesting information about what you would like to hear or what you thought about this lesson. And I'm going to be coming back on a regular basis sharing some more lessons with you to help you go from the cubicle to CEO. <laughs>